What is up, Vanette Squad? It's your main man, Kiss Dan. Yes, sir. Today we're back with another Vanette Game video. Now, guys, guys, guys. Okay, so um, yesterday I uploaded a video on basically Gojo Satoru. Yes, man. Um, and this new anime game called Anime Mania. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, pretty lit, and I've been having a blast on it. And uh, I saw the video, and I was like. Man, I can either like stretch the heck out of this and just make this like a million like different individual videos. And I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna just be a real one. I'm gonna just give y'all all of it in just one go. And what do I mean by all of it? Um, as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be showcasing all of the legendary what do you call them? Legendary characters, legendary units. Um, what the heck? I don't even know what to call these, honestly. What, what are they called? <laughs> um, huh? Legendary character, legendary unit. What is it? What is it? it has to like. What does it refer to you as? Fodder. Besides that, um, okay. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. But anywho, oh uh, yeah, whatever you want to call these things, <laughs> I guess you can call them whatever. I don't know. I'll ask for the devs. <laughs> uh, yo, what's up? But yeah, so today we're gonna be showcasing all of the legendary characters and units. So we got a lot to get through, man. We got one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve. That's intense, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. All right, so yeah, so we got twelve characters to showcase. Uh, but we're gonna showcase every single one of them. All right. Now I'm gonna just do this. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna knock two birds out with one stone. I gotta progress in the story and whatnot because I have not progressed at all whatsoever. So we're gonna be showcasing the moves in the actual game mode itself, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing instead of doing the test dummy nonsense. Also, I've, it might be a little quicker. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah. So before we get to the actual video, though, if you guys can do me a huge favor, right? If you guys are new, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, bro. If you guys are new, you guys do find this video helpful, you guys do enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification button if you are not subscribed, but if you are sus or wait, no. <laughs> if you are subscribed and have not done so, if you're subscribed and you don't have the notification bell on, what are you doing with your life, my guy, bro? Fix up! Uh, didn't your mama t teach you better, bro? And uh, last but not least, uh, make sure to hit this video with the like, like, no jutsu, man. I know y'all trying to become the, uh, whatever, I don't the best, the greatest shinobi that no one ever was, bro. I know y'all trying to do that, bro. So, uh, just do it, bro. Just do it, bro. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? All right, but, uh, yeah, so let's hop in and we're gonna go mess some people up, okay? Uh, mess up some of these NPCs. I'm just begin. I'm gonna solo queue because I have no problem solo queuing. Um, because we are running with that, that Gojo back. So I'm gonna start off. With uh, Gojo, I'm just knock him out just because I have him equipped first. Um, a lot of you guys may have seen him in my last video. I did show showcase Gojo. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool character. Um, so I'll just get to it, right? So first things first, right? Gojo has his one move called Lariat. He has his move called Lariat. It's pretty nice. He charges forward and uh, does some pretty intense damage. I don't know exactly how much damage he does. I guess we can check right now. Uh, it does hit multiple targets, so that's pretty cool. All right, this to tell you, but it, like it nearly one shots these guys, right? So I know his fists do 11.5 damage. Um, go just like specifically. I'm pretty sure different like characters do different amounts of damage with their fists. Um, now hear me out, man. I know that's like such a random statistic to like just know, but uh, yeah. Anywho. So he does that, right? And then you got uh, his move called Reversal Guard. Now, this thing is freaking OP, bro. I love this move. Like, honestly, the idea with Gojo is you just want to have this on 24-7 as much as you possibly can, especially when there's a lot of enemies attacking you. So basically, you turn on your Reversal Guard, and any damage you take is actually uh, reversed to the person dealing the damage. So they're taking the damage instead of you. Like I said, it's really OP. You can spam it, bro, like crazy. Um... Like, whenever I'm, like, fighting, like, too many enemies, like, I'll just turn it on, right? And just boom, bro. Like, 
and they're just all taking damage. They're all just taking damage while they're hitting me. And look at that cooldown, bro. That cooldown's insane. Like when I first got when I first used Gojo in like my previous video, I didn't realize like how OP this was. And I gotta remember like there's no there's no stamina system, there's no chakra system, so there's no reason uh reserving uh like that HP. There's just no reason whatsoever, all right. So uh so yeah, as you guys saw, we just used hollow purple. That was the third move. It's very underwhelming to what it looks like in the anime. I'm sorry, but all of purple is literally just uh, it's literally just a purple projectile um, that damages everybody that's in it, right? And then uh, we got reversal red. Reversal red is also cool. I like to combo this with reversal guard, um, mainly because like if I use when you use reversal red, you're kind of like for like a for like a second or two, you're kind of standing still. And you have to like actually use that like to cast the attack. So what I'll do is I'll use reversal guard because I'm standing still. That way, because I'm standing still, so I'm vulnerable, right? And that way, when they're attacking me and I can't move, they're uh, basically just damaging themselves as I'm getting ready to cast my uh, reversal red. Now that moves pretty nice, and it's a pretty solid attack. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be all for Gojo Satoru, bro. Pretty nice guy. Uh, pretty nice kit. Like I said, one of my favorites. Uh, his his kit is just pretty. It's just pretty solid, man. All right, so uh, let's move on to the next character. All right, so next up we got Dio. Um, Dio is pretty cool because mainly because he has his uh oh my goodness he has his stand combat which is pretty nice. Um, his stand fights for him obviously. Uh, so we got that. Uh, oh golly that air palm. Uh, you got barrage that his uh stand uses. Okay, there we go. You got barrage, and then you got a uh, knife throw. Knife throw is nothing crazy. Um, it's just oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Okay, we got roll road roller. Okay, so you do that, and then time stop. All right. Okay, so time stop, road roller, knife throw. Oh, uh, uh, knife throw, and then uh, yeah, I don't know how we lost that. We made it to like wave ten, but like. We should have done way better than what we did. Oh my goodness. We really shouldn't have lost that, but that's okay. The idea of this is to get the showcases down, but you guys saw his moveset is pretty, uh, pretty what you is what you would expect for Dio to have. All right. So next up we got Mihawk, man. We're walking. Oh, we're smoking that. Uh, we're rocking that Mihawk pack, bro. That, that Yori Yori, bro. First move we got is Gash. Uh, literally just like a slash projectile. That's actually pretty nice. It's pretty solid. A uh, huge hitbox hits a nice amount of uh, enemies, if I do say so myself. Um, does a lot of damage, gets the job done. Next, we got Pierce. Um, you basically lunge forward with Yoru, and uh, you just like kind of like literally just whack them with your sword. It doesn't even look like you pierce them. It looks like you whack them with your like your elbow or something. Let me see that again. Okay, you do pierce them. All right. So uh, next, we got uh, Rav Ravine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's basically when uh it's kind of like that I guess uh I don't know. Kind of like uh Ichigo's one move, uh his little Getsuga Tensho or whatever, that one Getsuga Tensho. Uh basically that but for I guess Yoru, but it's green. Uh pretty nice though, pretty solid. The range is pretty decent too. Um, it's like it's more mid-range. I would say it's mid to long range. I would say it's like super long range like the gash But it's still pretty nice last but not least we got vortex, uh, which is an aoe um, basically like you spin around doing damage to everyone who's in front of you and uh, You just kind of like hit them with all these little like slash projectiles um, All right So next up we got shanks rocky with them uh, one piece characters. You got buso Exactly what it sounds like you get like a you get like a damage buff in uh, your attacks Your like m1 attacks pretty nice pretty solid uh, the buff is Like very noticeable as you guys can see like a huge buff um, You got double strike uh, Literally just two slash projectiles uh, you send out two of them and then uh, yeah They just you know literally just <laughs> literally basic slash projectiles. They got Ken hockey you dodge everything. Honestly, mixing this with Busto is kind of busted. Like you literally just like dodge everything while also just doing uh, buff damage. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. And then you got Quick Draw. 
which is um just like a mid-range attack i guess uh where you kind of just um like send out multiple slashes instead of it's like a it's like a mid-range slash attack uh that's literally what it is i mean oh i'm about to die hold up is you gonna do all this just for me to use freaking ken hockey just for me to be invincible ultra instinct bro come on now oh man i hope we make it to the next wave oh hey 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 Please, I'm not bad. Honestly, I need to learn how to block. So I don't even know how to block in this game. Okay, there we go. All right, double strike. There we go. Hey, hey. Wait for that Ken Hockey to turn on. Keep dodging, bro. Those kunais, bro. They're actually pretty annoying, bro. Like after a while, they start. They start. The damage starts to add up, bro. That like one doesn't do crazy damage, but when you got like a bunch being shot at you, that starts to add up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Lee. Ain't nobody trying to deal with all that. All right, this is the time where we thrive. All right, hurry up. Get as much damage as possible. Woo! Woo! All right. So, the thing about Buso is I'm not sure if it buffs the, like, your, all your attacks or just your M1. It looks like I'm going to go under the assumption that it only buffs M1, but there's a possibility that it might buff all. Um... But I'm, I'm just, I'm assuming it looks like it's only doing M1, so I'm gonna go with that. But, um, let's see. So next we got Kisuke. Uh, Kisuke is pretty nice. I actually like his moveset. Uh, so his first attack is Sing. Literally, uh, like a horizontal slash projectile. Uh, next is Protect. This is actually pretty nice. That does a lot of damage. You kind of just go around and you just have like this, per, uh, like sphere of protection over you. And you like you just literally can't take damage while also damaging other people. And you got Pierce, which is oh my goodness, oh get away from there! All right, protect again. Aha! Uh -huh. You thought you could damage me, but when really I'm the one doing the damage. And then you got freaking high end, whatever. How you? I think that's how you pronounce it, high end. I don't watch that far into Bleach, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, all right, so back off, bro. All right, let's use this again, bro. Protect. All right, so Pierce is actually pretty nice. That's like a mid-range attack also. Um, there we go. So high is like, does that freaking giant explosion or whatever. Um, sing, get off me. Get off me. Protect, bro. The thing is about protect, like, this is so busted, bro. The fact that I can like m keep pushing you away from me, but also like I can still M1 you is insane. Pierce. Bing. Okay, there we go. And then, uh, let's try this again. High end. All right, so I'm not sure that attack, if it auto tracks or if it just goes to, like, in front of me. I'm trying to see, because both times look like it auto tracked, but I'm too close to really tell. But let me just make sure, bro. Back off, bro. Just back off for two seconds, bro. Okay, this is where we can get our distance. All right, here. How about this? We're going to aim this way. Okay, it does auto track. So that's freaking busted. I knew it. I knew I wasn't tripping. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it for Kisuke. Pretty nice, pretty solid. And, uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the next uh, characters. All right, so being that we're uh, basically at the, I'm pretty sure this is the last, like, stage for, like, the, the Naruto world. So I had to end it off with the fourth Hokage himself, man, with the Naruto characters. Uh, so first move we have here is Thunderclap. Uh, basically auto tracks to whatever target there is, um, and does damage to them. Like basically you teleport to them. You, I guess you, you kind of do like a little bit of damage. The, the damage isn't super high, nothing in crazy, like crazy, but it is spammable. So that's cool. Um, so you're like, you can like constantly be doing damage. Uh, next you got his kunai throw. This is cool. Um, back off bro. Golly. The thing with that, that thunderclap is that it, sometimes it feels like you do no damage, bro. And then that freaking... Paper ball. Who do you think you are? All right, kunai throw. All right, so you got that. Then you got uh, rushing gun. <laughs> Basically, just throw back at literally everyone. Oh my goodness, I'm about to get rushed. Okay, then you got flying rushing gun. Okay, there we go. Get off me, please. All right, thunderclap. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I cannot. Not the. Not wave two. Oh my goodness, wow, we're gonna have to clutch up this guy this time guys so that this so that we can get to Itachi. I do not want to lose this bro. Alright, come on. Thunderclap. Okay. 
kunai throw. Get off. Flying rush thing on. All right, thunderclap. Oh, I threw. I blew it. I blew it. Ah. All right, rush thing on. All right, there we go. Now we start dodging. Thunderclap. There we go. Oh, no. I'm on the ground. Bro, get off me. Get off me. Thunderclap. All right, bro. I don't know how we're going to clutch up this. Uh, we got two whole ways to go. Oh, my goodness. Thunderclap. Thunderclap. All right, so last video <laughs> in the last recording, bro. My freaking PC ran out of space, so OBS stopped recording. But anywho, we got we got murked <laughs> last second, bro. We 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 survived with like five HP for like four waves somehow or whatever, whatever how many were left. But we got murked at like the last second. But anywho, so right now we're going over Itachi, bro. Itachi's pretty nice, pretty solid. Actually, he's pretty busted. Um, he has black flames, pretty pretty OP, dude. Like literally just. Yeah, like literally, like come on, bro. Like, um, it kind of just does it wherever your mouse is, I believe. I think it's wherever your mouse is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. So, wherever your mouse is, it creates like these uh, Amaterasu black flames, very spammable. Um, the thing is, that's really cool about it is that, huh? Let me see, does it do damage after they walk into it? Like, if they walk into it afterwards, all right, no. So, I gotta like land it on top of them. All right, it makes sense. Uh, Still pretty solid attack. When you land on top of them, they take a lot of damage. Or maybe they do take damage if they walk into it. Um, next up, we got Susado Defense, bro. Literally just don't take any damage. <laughs> just don't take any damage whatsoever. Um, so here, let me try that again. The thing that's cool about this is that you can M1 while doing it. So yeah, it's, it's not like Gojo's though, where you just kind of like you reverse the damage, but it's still pretty nice, still pretty OP. You got Genjutsu, um, as you can see there, it's pretty solid. It multi hits and it stuns uh, people and it causes them to like take damage as they're in the Genjutsu. So that's really nice. You can kind of combo that with like, uh, I would say comboing that with like a Materatsu would be really nice. Um, using Genjutsu and then a Materatsu to the people that are in the Genjutsu, right? It's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid amount of damage. Um, so you got that. And then you got, uh, let's see, oh, Susano Assault, man. Lily, 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 exactly what you'd expect it to be. You spawn a Susano Ribcage, um, and then you just, like, start swinging, going crazy with your sword, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's 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 try not to get murked again this time, so let's, uh, let's put a little bit of effort to what we're doing. Hold on. Oh, hey. Mm. There we go. Easy, man. Easy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yo! Why they came out hopping like that, bro? That's kind of creepy. All right, there we go. Susano defense. The the air the aerial combat in this game is like really fun to use just because. Of, oh, I didn't realize that I was low on the low on HP. Um, what's this? Wave four? We can make it to wave five. As okay, there we go. All right, so that's that. Uh, next thing we got is Asta, bro. Asta, yes sir. Um, not just regular old Asta. Also, when he's in like his little half demon form thing. So, oh my goodness, bro, You're, you guys are annoying. So you got black slashes. Uh, pretty freaking busted. Asta, that that attack is just ridiculous, bro. Um, so you got that. Pretty pretty nice as you guys can see there. Decent cooldown. It's not as short as like reversal uh counter or whatever or reversal guard or whatever it's called. The black frames, but it's also like pretty OP. So you got that. And then you got freaking black meteorite. Um, it's more of like a melee attack. Um, basically, you slash anybody that's close up, and then you like just knock him into the air and hit him in this combo, right? Then you got black tornado. Uh, kind of like the freaking. I guess it's kind of like the the jump force attack, where basically. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Uh, it's kind of. I wanted to see the range of that. It's kind of like the jump force attack where you just like. Activate it, you just start spinning like a freaking blade blade. You literally turn into a blade blade. Then you got freaking Dark Divider, bro. That thing's freaking busted too. Um, does crazy amounts of damage. Asta is just straight DPS. And I might die here. But that's okay, because it's a showcase, and that's what we're focused on. Showcasing. Bro, we've been on this thing for a long time. I gotta <laughs> I gotta start paying attention to actually like past this freaking one. It's not even that hard. Alright, so we're rocking with Broly again. <laughs> I I left that other one because I could not concentrate and record and survive at the same time. That thing was getting annoying. All right, so rocking Broly, uh, back at the tuning exam. So the first move we got is Green Blaster. 
um literally just a key uh, projectile attack you shoot out in front of you does damage that whoever gets hit by it uh pretty nice solid attack very good range does actually a good amount of damage too um as you can see there um next up we got rampage it's basically a lunge attack you kind of just what the heck why did that not do damage uh it's a lunge attack that's supposed to do that you kind of lunge forward and you're supposed or charge i guess and it's supposed to do damage I don't know what's up with that. I guess it's just not doing damage. I'm pretty sure. I could have sworn it was doing damage last time I was using it. Maybe, maybe it actually doesn't do damage. Maybe I'm tripping. Ah, uh, there we go. You see, it did damage that time. I guess maybe I just need to be closer. Uh, so you got uh, that attack. And then you got Uzari Rage, which is pretty cool. It's literally uh, kind of going to the air. And then like below you is like an AOE that does a bunch of damage to a bunch of people. And then you got um, Absolver literally literally like a grain zero that's literally what it is like you just shoot like this giant beam from out of your mouth and uh yeah so it's actually pretty solid um i will say that broly is probably one of my favorites in the game in my opinion he's like top three i'm putting him in top three um yeah he's pretty he's pretty solid uh next up we got kenpachi uh another bleach character oh that range is insane bro look at that bro that range is insane so first move we got is road rage literally a charge attack and you just go insane oh that that was me doing the that was me doing the combo at the end by the way <laughs> that's like not a part of the move but it's still he's still pretty busted so you got road rage i'll use that again basically just a charge attack and uh, i missed it that time it's i don't even think i can't call that a charge i think that's more of a lunge than a charge um so you got that they got true power um another like projectile slashes a range attack uh slashes anybody who or damages anybody who gets hit by it then you got deadly counter um which exactly what is which is what you just saw um i believe like whenever you get hit um it like counters and does damage to the person who uh did it so if i use it over here nothing happens but if uh someone hits me while i do it then obviously they take damage you know what i'm saying um that's what it looks like at least uh ah since i've been using it in here try again look let's look yep there we go all right um so you got that and then you got four which is uh consecutive strikes oh shoot i just realized i was low on hp <laughs> i just realized i was low on hp so consecutive strikes literally just doing a bunch of okay so next up we have ace um real quick all right so real quick oh we got ace his first move is flame fist now um th this is a mid-range attack basically you kind of shoot out like a giant beam of uh, fire next thing you got is flame pillar which is a fire aoe um i guess i'll use ace again uh fire aoe uh does uh pretty decent damage none of them are really high damage attacks and then you got firelight which is literally firefly um that move auto tracks to whatever target uh i guess is closest and then uh it also it also has like a aoe uh explosion or whatever so that's pretty cool too and you got ring of fire um this is pretty nice uh, i like this because not only does it damage the enemies that are like like i guess like in the ring that uh, where like where the fire appears but then it also like traps out enemies i don't know if that was intentional or not but also traps out enemies like on the outside so it's kind of like okay you're getting the best of both worlds you're getting an aoe that does damage and at the same time you're getting an attack that traps enemy out and traps an enemies in so i would say like comboing this with like um comboing that with like flame pillar that's a pretty uh pr i would say pretty nice combo you know what i'm saying but let's make sure we don't die here okay we just might <laughs> we just might <laughs> i said let's make sure we don't die here and then we do it um all right Jeez, I need to level up these guys, bro. That level one is not it. That level one damage is not it. All right, so uh, this is kind of ghetto, but whatever. I don't actually have modder myself. Uh, I started yesterday in my YouTube, okay? Nice. I'm number one in the game. Oh, all right. So we don't have modder ourselves. So this dude uh, said that he would be more than glad to showcase the modder skills. So, uh, wow. So I guess that's, 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 those are the first two attacks. Those are pretty busted, actually. Um, and then you got wood. 
And then you got that Susano attack. All right. So that's basically the full. That was pretty quick. The full modern moves. I need a. I need a. <laughs> uh, thanks. I need to take some notes on just hurrying up. <laughs> just like that. That was really quick. My goal was to literally try to progress while showcasing. And then I realized, man, try to progress and record and showcase at the same time. It is not efficient because I cannot concentrate enough. Anywho, it's funny because now we're back at the first world. But yeah, now we're using a uh, white beard. Uh, Wiper is also pretty, I would say he's pretty strong, bro. He's pretty busted. Um, his abilities are just ridiculous. I'm going to try to see if I can get more people to uh, get fly through these waves so that I can get the other ones to show up, bro. So we can have like these uh, more NPCs to kind of test these moves on. Um, there you go, white beard. All right, so this should be better. All right, so the first move he has is crash. Um, literally what you would think it is. Uh, it's like his little crash or tremor quake attack uh, guru <laughs> ability. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and it literally just, uh, I guess it's like a mid range. I don't think it's long range. It doesn't seem like there is a projectile that's used. I guess we'll find out here. All right, so yeah, it's more rip mid range than long range. Um, second you have is sweep. I like that attack. Uh, pretty busted. That's also like that's more of a cl a close to mid range attack. Um, basically just kind of like sweep with your bicento and like you combine that with I guess your Delphi and just do damage, knocking everybody back and uh, uh, yeah. Um, his third move is pretty busted. It's double tsunami, right? So they don't even know what's about to hit him, but basically this thing does so much damage. It takes forever, but it does do a lot of damage. Oh, I just realized my HP. Okay, so oh, get away from me. And then we got Crusher. Okay, there we go. Which is just an AOE. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna use that double tsunami again. Uh, I'm gonna use, oh, crash here. All right, there we go. Double tsunami. Hopefully I survived this. And I didn't. <laughs> all right, but yeah. Anywho, so that's basically it for all the showcase. Now, don't get me wrong. I know I died a lot in this video, <laughs> but the legendary characters are pretty strong. I'm just, I, I'm just too worried. I'm just more focused on actually showcasing the moves and their abilities than actually using them and uh, trying to survive. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, these guys are pretty solid. Um, uh, and uh, they're definitely worth going for. I would say they're definitely a lot better than the other ones, especially being that I was like, I haven't leveled up any of them and they've been carrying me through the game. So it's uh, it's a pretty, I would say they have a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, high difference to like the, the commons or like the fodder characters or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you guys did enjoy the showcase. You guys did find it useful. If you did, do me a huge favor. Subscribe to your boy, even though uh, I died like multiple times. Just subscribe <laughs> so I can get revived, please. The only thing that will save my life is me getting subscribed. Or not me getting subscribers. There we go. Anywho, um, only if you want to, of course. But uh, yeah, don't forget to turn on the notification bell and uh, to use a like, like, no jutsu on this video. Now, uh, with that being said, until next time, guys, we are out.